everyone so i know i look like a mess right now but that is all about to change because today i want to take you guys along for my prep for my career fair that i have going on tomorrow and the first thing i'm going to start doing is doing my hair um because my hair i got it done a couple weeks ago and you know over time it kind of has just done its own thing so i just want to straighten it and i'll be giving you some tips for this um for this as well if you're going to be going to any career fairs or if you are really kind of starting your own job search um i'll give you all the advice you could need um and kind of just tell you like how i prep for for career fairs um so come along with me i'm just right now what i'm doing is just putting some products in my hair just to like prep for me to um straighten it out so i just put this cream in there and then i'm going to spray some of this into it it's like i went to the dry bar when i was um on a little trip that i took and i um i got my hair done and they gave me i bought some products from them so i just want to brush this hair out before we actually start the process um for me career fairs are fun because i like being able to network and really use it as an opportunity to like get to know people meet people have conversations be, be in that sort of space so personally when it comes to prepping for a career fair you really have to go into it with an open mind regardless of if you have your own job idea like you know what you want to want to do for for a job for like work um even if you have like that idea for what you want to do it's still good to go into it with an open mind in case you find something that really piques your interest during your career fair so i would just suggest if you find out about a career fair happening close to you or through a school that you go to or you know if someone recommends it to you what i like to do is you know after i register and get my ticket and stuff I will usually go through and see who's gonna be there, like um, like any rep, any reps for specific companies I want to check out, or keynote speakers, things of that nature. And then I kind of like go through, take a note, and um, and basically say, okay, like I want to meet this person, I want to talk to this person, um, I want to ask this person this question. So some career fairs are an all day thing some are only for a couple hours but whichever whichever it is for you i think it's still important to really do your research on the people that you're going to be you know trying to network with because that's important um i think that sorry sometimes i'm going to turn away just because i'm doing my hair but i think it's important to really like go into a career fair have the materials that you're going to need to have i printed out 10 copies of my resume and I have them set in a folder. I have my braille note taker that I'm gonna be taking with me so I can take notes. Um, you know, whatever works for you when it comes to like, I'm just really trying to get this section right. It feels like it's not working out, but okay, on to the next part. Um, so, you know, really go into it and be like, okay, like I know I'm going here to network with X, Y, and Z person and to meet with this company but these are the questions i really like the burning questions i really want to ask them and um see if i can get those answers because career fairs are really meant to like personally for me right like this is my own thought process about it i feel like they are really meant to just allow you to be to connect and network and really explore what's out there because of course a lot of us post-grad students I don't know how many of the of you are you know viewers or subscribers of this channel but if you are a post-grad student then you know that networking is crucial to your to your search while you're going through this job process and you're searching for a job and you're really trying to find it it's really crucial to um to really kind of 
figure out like okay yeah i have this idea for what i want to do but at the same time there could be a thousand other things out there that you've never heard of and when you go to these career fairs like this is the time to be like okay cool like i didn't know that this was a thing that i could do you know that would be like my first tip is to really like prepare yourself really do that research so that this way when you go to talk to these companies you know the type of questions you want to ask them you know what you want to specifically and also like another thing is have like your your elevator pitch ready you know you have to also know how to present yourself at these things you, you go in with confidence and know that you know listen i know what i can bring to the table at x y and z company or i really want to work with this specific person so i know how i can really show that person and tell that person listen i'm the right person for your for your job because of this this and this and so i think really kind of having those things down pack at least a couple like a couple days before you you really go to career fair you go to um really just have it have your set your mind up for being able to network and present yourself and really brand yourself because at the end of the day you're your own person and regardless of what field you want to go into it's still important that you you bring that confidence because you got to remember they're talking to like hundreds of other people throughout the day and you really need to bring something that's going to be like I remember this person I had this great conversation with them I really want to connect with them on LinkedIn or like I really want to reach out to them about a job that I think would be perfect for them so I think just really understanding how important that is is like a crucial crucial like career fair tip 101 when you're in school and you're talking about careers it's like yeah they'll tell you the basics but they don't really give you the the 100 percent like career tips that would be super crucial for you um and so i think just really keeping your options open and remembering that you are here to network you're here to experience you're here to explore you're here to you know advance yourself and listen like at the end of the day you're taking a major step in your own journey because the fact that you are one of the people that was like okay i found out about this career fair and i'm gonna go to it it shows that you are you're being proactive in your own journey and really trying to figure out like what that looks like for you so i really just suggest do your research um remember to read up on people and read up on companies and organizations and all that all that good stuff my next thing for career fair tips 101 is preparing your outfit for the next day so I have this red like little silky top and then that's gonna go under well then I have these black jeans and a black blazer and so you know you kind of just want to like make sure you have all these things in order because again it's like even like men okay let's just say you haven't gotten haircut and you have a career fair coming up sorry I just covered the camera I would just say like the day before or a couple of days before just go get yourself a haircut it's like it's things that i think just really need to go into the preparations because at the end of the day you don't know who you're going to be meeting you don't know who's gonna who's gonna really want you to be an asset to their company and so it's important that you really do whatever it takes to really make sure that you can come in and bring your all i have these black jeans and then i got my red top um so you know it's just it's just kind of like what i do i really like just kind of preparing for these things it's a lot of fun to really like play around and be like okay like what could i wear that would be like simple but not too uncomfortable but also not too like you know casual um or too overly professional so i just kind of pulled out a blazer and honestly sticking with simple colors like blacks and whites and reds like it doesn't have to be a super bright red like this one that i have is not super bright but it's still something you know something to throw under your black or white blazer um or you know just just kind of like those 
specific things. First, let me just say that I have my bonnet on because I finished doing my hair. I printed out 10 copies of my resume and they are, wait, wrong folder. They are in this folder. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys what my resumes look like, obviously, for personal reasons. I think that when it comes to prepping for, for career fairs, the way that this one worked when I registered for it is they had you upload a copy of your resume, but essentially I really just wanted to make copies of it because I'm like, okay, what if all the people there like don't get a chance to actually look at my resume, at least I'll have copies I, so as I walk around I can hand them out. And so that's kind of just like what the plan is for tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. Tomorrow I will give you guys some footage of how that goes. And um, I'm always I'm always interested in, in looking into things like these because it's always so cool to really get the chance to interact with other people and really have discussion. So I'm gonna go prep a little bit more and write down some notes, my braille note taker since that's what I'm going to be taking tomorrow. But I say, I just, you know, highly suggest like just really have all your things prepared. If you're, if you're a blind person and you have a braille note taker, then, you know, charge your braille note taker the night before and really like pack that away in your bag and, and have all the things that you know you're going to need on the day of your career fair so that you can succeed. And um, I think I think it'll go great. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. I forgot to tell you guys one more thing before I finish prepping. Um, if you are a business person and you have business cards, pack those as well. Because I know for me, I'm definitely going to throw some into my bag for tomorrow. Just in case. You just never know. So I just think that that would be like a crucial thing to use and to have just in case you never know if you even if it's not someone from a company or a specific person that you're looking to meet with even if it's just like someone that you kind of randomly connect with at your table or along the way and you want to exchange information i think it's good to have like a business card and just be like okay here's my information just finished the career summit and yeah we're just chilling in the lounge it's a cute little vibe. I don't know what they have in here. I don't know why I just called it cute. But yeah. Hey everyone, so this is gonna be an audio little wrap up for the vlog because it's already a couple days after the career summit. Um, but I wanted to really kind of just talk to you guys about how it went, how I felt, and kind of like, you know, what the day was looking like. If my voice gets raspy at different points here, just know that that's what happens when you've talked for for nine hours. It was constant talking and yeah. Okay, so this career summit was from 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 p.m. And at first when I was originally like signing up, I was like, oh no, like I'm, that's sounds crazy but then i was like oh like this this might be like a good opportunity to really just experience this um and so i really enjoyed being amongst people who kind of share similar visions to mine this was mostly for post grads and current students and so um it really gave all of us the opportunity to network with one another to network with the companies to network with honestly anybody and so i really enjoyed getting to use my time in a really productive way because i wanted to really allow myself to explore what else is available you know it was for media and entertainment and i think that for me Recently, I've been in a rut. I've kind of just been feeling stuck, frustrated, um, annoyed about the fact that I'm not really succeeding in finding a job right now. And so this was really an opportunity for me to say, OK, yeah, you want to do this, this and this. But like, what if you could do all of that and then do other things? Or what if there's like another option available? 
So, like, go to this and check it out and see what it's about. And the entire day, it was really fun. I enjoyed getting to attend the panels, the discussions, the keynote speeches, getting to network with the companies when we had our networking segments, getting to go to the discussions, like I mentioned, which is so funny because there came a point where um, they were doing like three discussions at the exact same time. And my friend Jordan and I, like, we were kind of torn between the two that we wanted to go to. Um, because the one I wanted to go to was overcoming career roadblocks because that's kind of like where I've kind of been right now is really just kind of figuring out how do I get past this stage that I'm in and Jordan's like okay like I want to go to the understanding your compensation um discussion which I was like oh that does sound really good like you know I'd want to go to that too but then they also had I think it was like the do's and don'ts of writing a resume or something which like essentially they were like okay you guys can everybody can pick like the two out of the three discussion workshops that they would want to go to and I was like my heart was kind of set on the overcoming career roadblocks especially because I'm like well essentially that's kind of how I feel so Jordan like helped me get to that discussion where they to the room where they were doing that and she's like, okay, like, I'm gonna go to mine, and at the end, like, you know, once we're done here, like, we can always, like, swap notes with each other, so I was like, great, so we went, um, and I really enjoyed being in that kind of, like, being, being there, like, being in the presence of other people who are trying to, like, also figure out what in the world they want to do how they want to advance their careers how they kind of want to get started in their careers um asking questions it was really just a very insightful and like insightful um and kind of packed day that was filled with different things to really explore i will i will say though i was so tired the next day you guys because I was like walking around, talking to this person, talking to that person, trying to meet with this person, um, which of course, like, I don't mind that. Like, I'm not complaining at all. Um, and I'm also just, just so you know, like, I'm, if you guys comment and ask me, like, what companies were there, I'm not going to bring up names of companies or people or any of those things, simply due to the fact of, like, it's not my place to really mention those things. And also, I, I feel like keeping it pretty basic and keeping it simple. Um, but I feel like, you know, I will say, like, media and entertainment, you can kind of paint your own picture there of, like, the companies that were there. Um, so I just wanted to make that little disclaimer. So, um, but yeah, I so I woke up the next day and I was just like, oh, wow, like, I'm so tired. Like, I have no more spoons left, right? I probably had, like, a teaspoon probably i was like this is the, the amount of energy i choose to like really have today um and if you've never heard about the spoon theory um look it up i can link an article in the description for you guys but yeah like i had no spoons i was really tired i had that like one teaspoon that i was like okay like if i'm gonna use my energy i need to be using it for something that like will make me you know not so tired or give me that energy back because like all my energy was used during this career summit which i had no problem with um and so yeah i slept basically the entire day um and i started editing the footage for this and um i don't know i just i think that if you get the chance to allow yourself to be in a position where you can feel you know good about attending something that you know is going to be beneficial for you in the long run whether that's a career fair career summit um network networking events any of it i think is really beneficial um so i just wanted to kind of share that and say that it all went really well and that i really had a great time and enjoyed every moment of it um and that i hope that you guys you know are able to find those things wherever you are 
and um yeah that's about it so i'm gonna just do one more little audio thing to wrap this up and i'll talk to you guys soon so unfortunately this was a very short little vlog however i just want to say that the reason for that is because during this time like i was just too busy with the fact that like i was trying to network and go to all of the panels and discussions and keynote speeches and so it's like i didn't want to record what was going on um simply because of the fact that you know i just i wanted to keep it simple i wanted to just kind of tell you guys like listen this is how you prepare for a career summit or career fair um and i'll be doing this more i'll kind of start giving you guys more tips for the job search um regardless of whatever it is that you want to you know work whatever whatever job you want um but yeah this was just really kind of covering the basics um and that's really about it so i hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know if you have questions and if you want to see more videos related to this Thank you.